Next, I'm going to cover some important what-if questions that you might come across when interpreting the results with your student. The first question is, what if I see a flat profile with few high or low points? Now, if we refer to my basic interest page, for example, we don't really see a flat profile, but I will explain what it would mean. It would mean that the bars would all be of a similar length, and they would be fairly moderate. So they'd be flat in that sense, and that they wouldn't show highs and lows. What this can indicate is that the student's career interests may not be solidified yet. Specific career recommendations might not be appropriate for this person, but you could recommend that they retake the JCE in about a year or so. For the second question, what if the student's career plans don't align with the profile? This actually offers more of an opportunity for discussion. For you as the counselor, you'll want to uncover the source of the discrepancy. Perhaps the student is dealing with some external pressures, potentially from a parent or some biases that they already had about different career options. There may be other factors at play that you'll want to uncover with them. In some cases, the student may not understand what is involved with the job that he or she is most interested in. For example, with a job of lawyer, in a lot of cases, students might have a perception of this job based on what they see on TV or in the media, and they may not necessarily involve all the technical or research-related and writing and reading activities that are involved with this type of job. So you can use the JCE results along with other information to help the student make career decisions. Question number three, what if the student's abilities don't correspond with his interests? In cases like this, you'll want to explore the full range of jobs that are available in the top job groups, and you can also combine the student's interests to customize a career path for them. As you'll recall, the sample jobs are listed according to the education level that is required. So if you're finding that their abilities might not match up with, say, a higher education or training level, you can look at the category lower than that and see if one of the jobs presented in this group might suit them. 